The movie begins by introducing an elderly man named Mahler. He is deeply grieving the loss of his grandson. While mourning his grandson's death, he is also concerned about his daughter. As a mother, how could she bear such tremendous sorrow? She goes to see her, but Anna doesn't share her feelings with him. She behaves as if nothing has happened. She makes breakfast for her dad and goes to work. Everyone wanted to share her sorrow in her hotel, but she doesn't talk to anyone here. She behaves as if nothing has happened and she is absolutely fine. The scene cuts to an old lady whose wife has died. With her permission, her wife is taken to the funeral. After her wife's death, she was all alone. After this, we meet a family whose husband's name was David and his wife was Eva. They had two children. This was a happy family who celebrated their sorrows and happiness together. Today was David's son's birthday, and they planned that after coming back from work, they would celebrate this birthday together. After this plan, Eva and David leave for work. They didn't realize that what they had planned for today would turn out to be completely opposite. Eva's car crashes while crossing the tunnel, and Eva dies on the spot. Her entire family was shocked by her death and sad as well. David was still in the hospital. This night was like a nightmare. That same night, we hear a loud voice. The sound was so loud that it felt like it was causing everyone's ears to burst. When this sound was heard, the lights across the entire world suddenly flickered. With this voice, all the birds fly away from here. We see that her fan also falls where Anna was working, but luckily Anna survives. Anna's dad, who was at his grandson's grave, also falls unconscious while listening to this voice. And when he regains consciousness, he hears some voices from his grandson's grave. He thinks that his grandson is alive, and to check him, he digs his grandson's grave. We don't know if his grandson is alive or not, but we see this old man Mahler's shocked face. The scene cuts, and now we see that old woman whose wife died a day before she was all alone without his wife. She was weeping while missing her suddenly. She also hears a voice outside her house, and when she goes to check, she is surprised to see that there is no one but her wife outside the house. She couldn't believe her eyes and hugs her wife. The scene cuts and we are shown a hospital scene where David was crying for Eva, but then he felt like Eva has moved her hand. He is shocked and calls the doctor. Upon examination, the doctors discover that Eva has revived. Her heartbeat is slow, which surprises him. He returns home and informs his children. He tells them that their mother who had died has come back to life, but her heartbeat is weak, so the doctors are keeping her under observation. The doctors were also unable to explain how Eva was revived. The scene cuts and we see Anna. Her son has died and now she gets tired to not showing her sorrow. She cannot bear the grief, so he goes to the bathroom, screams, and decides he cannot continue living. She will end herself and thinking this, she wraps her face with a plastic wrap. Before she could end herself, her dad came and saved her. Her dad has taken out her son from the grave who was alive, and he wants to tell this to his daughter. He holds her hand and takes her to her son's room. She also becomes happy to see her son. All those who had revived appeared strange and acted oddly. Eva, who came back to life after the car accident, did so in the exact condition she was in at the time of her death. The old woman who revived, her body wasn't rotten because she died just a day ago, except for her eyes. Anna's son died many days ago, and his body has rotten. His body emitted a foul odor, even though his grandfather bathed him when he brought him home. The smell persisted. Anna says to her dad, we should take him to the hospital. His condition isn't well. Her father forbids her, saying that they can't take him to the hospital because it's illegal to exhume a body. We have already removed him from the grave illegally. If the doctors find out that he was revived after being dead for so many days, they will use him for experiments. While they were talking, there was a knock on the door, and the police arrived, asking Anna about her deceased son. The police suspected that his grandfather might have exhumed him, but Anna remained silent. Seeing her distress and poor condition, the officers decided to leave. The night passes, and the news spreads on TV that not just these three, but the dead from around the world have revived. Many corpses emerge from their graves, some bursting out and others being exhumed. The condition of all the revived people was same. There were no emotions in them. They couldn't speak or hear, 
and were not eating anything. Their revival must be connected to yesterday's voice that was heard by everyone yesterday evening. The police also discover that Anna's father had taken her son from the grave. She suggests that he go to the island until the situation improves. They have a small vacation house there, so they decide to take the boy to the island. The scene shifts to the old woman, one of whom has revived. When her wife tries to feed her, the woman attacks instead of eating. This shocks her, and she also finds out that this lady isn't her wife. Even then, she spends time with her. Anna also brings her son's favorite remote car in front of him and play with it in front of him. Uti shows no reaction or excitement, which increases their concern. While Anna's father goes to fetch water, we see another dead man following him. He looks horrifying, as if he has been dead for a long time and his body has started to decay. He was looking at Anna's dad as if he would end him. The scene cuts to Eva's children visiting her, but she does not recognize them and couldn't even see them. Eva's son gets excited and shows his mom his rabbit gifted by his dad on his birthday. Eve remains silent, but takes the rabbit from her son and kills it. Her children and husband watch in fear. Eva's daughter understands that the lady sitting in front of them isn't her mom. When the scene cuts, and we see that Anna can also see the dead man whom we saw behind her dad. Anna gets scared and locks her door and windows. When her dad returns, she told him about that dead man. Her dad says, you stay here, don't worry, I will handle him. Anna forbids him, but her dad doesn't listen to her and goes out. As he moves outside, the dead man attacks him and brutally kills him. This terrible scene scares Anna so much that it was difficult for her to stay there even for a second. She escapes on the boat along with her son. The water was deep, so the dead man didn't follow her. The scene cuts and we are shown the old ladies where the dead lady has ended her wife. It was evident that the resurrected dead were attacking humans. The reason behind this was not revealed. They might have turned into zombies. In the final scene, Anna is shown drifting away on the river with her son. She also finds out that what she had isn't her son, so she hugs him for the last time and leaves him in the water. She accepted the truth and returned to nature what it had taken from her. Similarly, she was protected from any danger. We learned from her that a person who accepts their situation sooner has a higher chance of surviving in this world. What is lost never returns, and those who remain fixated on what's gone, like that old lady, can end up perishing.